Here at WebAssist, we offer unlimited technical support for free. And we don't want to brag, but we're really good at it. Okay, so we want to brag a little. We've been at this for over a decade, and so have a ton of our customers, largely because we like helping them, and they know it. So let me walk you through how to get your own outstanding technical support. From anywhere on our website, www.webassist.com, click on Help. This is our Help page. This tells you our business hours, along with what time it is here on Pacific Standard Time on the west coast of the United States, where we're providing you support. Over on the right-hand side, we have links to go to the product documentation page for each product. We also have our popular support tutorials. These are all of the tutorials you should cover if you're new to Dreamweaver, new to extensions, or new to dynamic development. Once you're ready to ask your question, select which product you're working with. Here I will choose DataBridge. Now let's say I'm getting an activation error when I try to activate my serial number. For my question, I'll type in activation error. Once I've typed in a question or some keywords, you can see that below I get some resources that may assist me. Some people may have already asked this question or we may have a tutorial on the subject. So if I see a forum thread that sounds a lot like my issue, I can go ahead and click on it and it opens that forum thread for me. I can see if this sounds like the same issue I'm having and see if technical support has resolved the problem and I could try it as well. This would be a very quick resolution to an issue I would be having. We can go back to the support page where I asked my question and you can see there are tutorials. Understanding web assist activation sounds like one that would help me with an activation error. So I can visit this tutorial that I can review and see if this solves my problem. Going back to the support page, the next resource is the documentation page specific to the product I selected to ask my question about. So since I selected DataBridge, I am offered a link to go to the DataBridge support page where there will be documentation and tutorials specific to this product. Every WebAssist product has a support page. Here's the DataBridge one. You can see at the top it tells me my latest version. If this is not the version I have installed, I'll definitely want to go download and install this as perhaps the error I'm experiencing has been fixed in the latest dot release. The next section has common tutorials, some of the same ones we saw on the help page and these are always great resources to review. We also have the built-in help documentation that you can access from the help interfaces in the product wizards. Um, so these are just quick links to get to those. Below that, we have some of the most popular and recent tutorials on this product. And further down, we have some of our YouTube video tutorials about this product. Some of our product pages also include FAQs frequently asked questions. If I haven't found what I'm looking for here, I can go back to the help page and the final section on this page allows me to ask a question. If I'm not signed in, it will ask me to sign in before I ask my question. Then you can click the ask your question button. You can see that the keywords I entered have been inserted as my question topic. I might want to be a little more descriptive. And when I add my details, I will definitely want to be as descriptive as possible. You can put in the extension version you're using, the version of Dreamweaver, and the operating system you're on. You want to put details on what you're trying to accomplish or what error you are experiencing. I can also upload attachments. This is great for uploading screenshots of the error you're experiencing or uploading your actual website files if it's going to be helpful for technical support to see the code. If you're uploading multiple files, you'll want to zip those up. So I can click on the Manage Attachments link right here, add an attachment, choose my file, and you'll see a thumbnail of it. You can either add more attachments 
or you can delete the one that you uploaded. Go ahead and click Done. Now if your attachments are private, say that you're working on a client's website and don't want everybody to see the files, just check the Attachments are private checkbox. I'll go ahead and click Post a Question and the website takes me directly to the thread that I just created. If I have more information I want to add, I can just click the Reply button and add more information. I can also subscribe to this thread by clicking on this envelope, and this will email me when other people append to my thread. Now, if I come back to the website later, the quickest way to get to my thread is to sign in and click on my account. I can scroll down to the support section in my account and this is the thread that I just created. I can get back to it by clicking on it. One of the great things about our technical support is we have a great community where people help each other out so not only may you get your question answered by technical support but you may also get advice from your colleagues. Now if you're in an enormous hurry, say you're under a deadline with a client and you need assistance on the phone as soon as possible, or let's say you want to accomplish something with one of our products that you've never done before and there's a level of complexity to it or something custom you want to do, you can request Premier support. Go back to the Help page and you can learn about Premier Support appointments right here. We charge $99 to give you direct assistance on the phone with a highly qualified web assist engineer. You get one hour, you get a one-on-one -on -one phone call, and we do screen sharing so that we can see exactly what you're working on and assist you that way. All you need to do is fill out this form with the date and time you're looking for and what your question is, we will contact you to confirm the date and time that you'd like, and then we will call you at your confirmed appointment time and provide you a link to do screen sharing. I also want to point out one more section of the website, our watch and learn section. Here we have tons of tutorials to help you with things you're looking to accomplish with our products. You can search and filter so that you can find the newest, the most popular, or a specific thing that you're looking to do. We have a web development workflow that guides you through the web development process stage by stage. And lastly, we have a YouTube channel where we post all of our video tutorials. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified whenever new video tutorials come out. Please don't hesitate to come get support from us for anything you need help doing. We know that we are only successful when you are successful. And all of us here at WebAssist work here because we legitimately enjoy what we do, which is helping you on the web.